everyone uh, let's see how we can add uh, tables now in, in in this particular reporting template uh, so I have already um, linked it with my their sales demos application so now I go to this particular uh, overview in where we have tables and it is essentially we are adding now we can add even the charts like um, bar chart as a data table here as well so now let's just add the data table here as well and when we are in adding in data tables we have will have these two options if you click on this plus button we will have two options either we can add as a table or we can add as individual columns okay so i'm gonna add this table though i'm gonna add a complete table as soon as i do that i will see these tags added here and i will see these options here as well okay so in this uh, in these options it's like very much um standard uh, it says expand range expand range mean that it automatically uh, range to the level where it needs to be so please keep it checked otherwise you might see inconsistencies in the data uh, so that's this should always be checked unless until there is a specific purpose for that um, keep source formatting it's very obvious and the wrap text is also very obvious as well okay so i'm gonna leave that as is for now and then we have the other options um, which are for the header so you see i have added just the table so uh, it will it have you have two options that show the heading in tagged cell and above cell um, i'm gonna come to that in a while after we generate the first overview um, then we do that and uh, i if i want to add this table tag anywhere else as well i can do that uh, i can add that here as well okay so that that's for the second one so i do not need that so i'm gonna just delete it for now okay and then we can click on expand columns and we can talk about individual columns properties uh, but normally you know for the table it's not recommended to do that another option how we can add data is uh, let me uh, come here uh, again adding the table but this time around we're gonna go for individual columns it can happen we have a good large table and we do not need all the columns so for example here I have two years uh, like year of the um, order date as well as a year so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add product I'm gonna add category I'm gonna get add year I'm gonna add country and quantity sales margins or every other column except this one so because this kind of seems like a duplicate and here I'm gonna click on add as soon as I do that uh, you will see you know I have like in a different set like you know uh, yeah, in this one there is no column header etc in this case there are column header etc and other thing that you should um, make sure that if you are adding the columns uh, sorry the tables in parallel uh, that these tags should combine I will show you why is that for now I'm keeping that as is to show that you know what's gonna happen and uh, let's see you know uh, what are gonna I'm gonna reduce this year column here and yeah that's it so let's generate the preview and let's see what happens so uh, it is important um, uh, to have them in the same column so uh, let me just show you right away what happens now okay here we are okay so you see uh, you know two things so this is you know it is nice we have this columns here uh, but if you see this table I do not see any value here but if I go down and you see where this table ends the value starts there so what happened is now let's go back to the um, uh, this uh, uh, template so if you see uh, it's basically expanding here so while it's expanding it says that all the table added here so it basically add rows here and so it assumed that you know this is gonna end here and then after that the rows start 
so in, if i want them to on the same footing i need to add that here okay so now it will show parallel so that is why uh, i was saying you know you should should be important either you add that uh, this particular table down here on this uh, side or you if you want to add them parallel just make sure that you know uh, the values are like you know in parallel or uh, whatever suits uh, the requirement okay now the second thing i'm going to talk about is uh, the header where it says shows uh, show in the tag cell so if you remember previously our uh, this tag was in this particular cell so if i go up uh, in in uh, row 2 so the header is showing in row 2 so i have few options here one is hiding the header so it's not going to show any header and the second option is show in tag cell so it essentially means that the heading the table will start from this particular row and there is an option called show above tag cell so it means that the header will be in the cell above but the table values will start be will be starting from this particular point okay so now also let's just just generate uh, this in this way where we have show above tag cell so now i have updated these options and now see uh, our preview what happens now so we have got another file and let's just check that what happens here now now two things so you see though my table start from here but my header is above here so that is like uh, because of i use the option uh, add uh, the headers above tag cell and if you see it's also in parallel now i do not have any uh, you know i do not have to scroll down uh, to see uh, where this table starts so uh, these are two options uh, that we can use here okay so that's that these are um, you know a few things that we wanted to discuss now i go to some additional settings in the table so that's uh if you see we have the source formatting and you see you know this is kind of formatting and by default we cannot change the uh, fonts etc uh, in here there is no option for that what if we want to do that so we can use all the clicks uh, uh, as excel's native functionalities in terms of yeah, formatting and the fonts here in this particular uh, template so let's see how we can do that so i'm just gonna uh, in this particular video i'm gonna just go for briefly a few of the properties they're gonna be a detailed video we're gonna i'm gonna play with more options and i'm gonna explore with you uh, what else we can do okay so let's just do a few things so uh, let's just change this font so i'm gonna go for Arial black and I'm gonna make it bold okay and other thing we can do is we can add that as a table okay so as a format as a table okay this is the second thing I can change the font and there are a lot of other things that we can do but uh, the one of the most important setting is format as a table so it looks nice uh, when I say that I just say that okay you know uh, this is my header okay so it just create those options and if i go to table design i can you know add some, for the few other options for example i can say uh, no filter option uh, and the rest of the things are same now let's generate the preview and let's see what happens so we should be ideally we should be able to see a different font on the left table and we should be uh, see the right table formatted as a table of Excel. Okay, so now let's open this new one, and you see this is oh it's not updated, so should be. Uh, let's see what happens here. Um, we know I know that what happened, so this can be an important lesson uh, for us to see that. Uh, but I will show another issue here as well. This is also an issue with the table. So you see this 
it seems like just two rows first top two rows has been added as a table the next row hasn't been added as a table so these are two problems the formatting is not as per you know we have expected so how we can do that so the first thing is i need to uncheck this unbox keep source formatting so that this for new formatting apply if i do that and do whatever it will not work the second thing i need to do is definitely i need to um, uncheck the source formatting option here as well also when you are adding a table or any formula for that matter we actually need to involve a row behind uh, down as well and the reason for that is um, when it expands there is like you know it's in kind of a formatting how it is done so you do just need to add that row so that you understand that there is a new row being added so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a table again and let's see if it works. Okay, no, it's table hasn't expanded yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let's just drag this table. Okay, so and this has been updated. Now let's generate the preview and hope it works. Here we go. Here we preview. So ideally new the new table should be, you know, the whole uh, till the end of the data, uh, I should be able to uh, see that it has been formatted as a table. Okay, so let's save it and let's see what happens now. Here we go. Okay, so this is updated, and this is also updated. If you see, this has been formatted as a proper table now. Okay. Okay, so. Other things that we can do is here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add totals uh, of all the values here. So I'm going to say total. I'm going to add a total row. So you just see I have added a total row after the blank. This is also important because otherwise when my formula won't work. I have to uh, in my formula I have to add these two rows. Okay. So I said total and let's just. Uh, make it bold and let's see what happens if I uh, in a table I cannot merge it so that has to be like that but then I say some of these values so I have selected two rows here so here here and I'm gonna make all this bold okay so now I'm gonna preview that again and there is going to be a problem because after I added this particular row, if I go back to my gen generated result, you will see that, you know, there is a blank row has been added. And this doesn't look a problem unless and until I added this total line. You will see now I have added a total line and there will be a blank row. It might look fine. It might be nice to have. There might not be problem in a lot of... Um, and a lot of times uh, but sometimes it does not look nice especially when the table is short and you want to get rid of this blank row okay so you see now I have this blank row and I can see that very uh, clearly okay and also I wanted to format the numbers better so let's just uh, format then use the Excel formatting here so I'm gonna use number format here um, and let's see more number format and i'm gonna use decimals here okay so let's see what happens now and also in order to remove this row what i can do is there is actually an option you might have seen i haven't discussed that but you might be having questions there is a option called add tag delete row so now i'm gonna add this one and as soon as I added this, it will it's going to delete the last row, the blank row after it has been generated. So it's like sequential. First, it generates the table, generate the total, and then it's going to delete the row. Okay. So now we have two uh, added two things. One is we have changed the formatting. And the main thing is we have added the delete row tag here. Okay. So let's generate a preview now. And let's see what happens here. There are other lot of other options that we can use um, in the formatting. 
uh i'm not i'm not i have again i haven't used them uh for the sake of this video but you can update that and that's not an issue if you see now the my formatting has updated and then the last tag this row here uh, now the total row is there and i can see you know um these row values are here as well so you can format that individual cells uh, as per your need and uh, as uh, you feel suitable okay so um, that's it for today's video for this particular video uh, stay tuned the next videos are coming um, on a similar theme